Back in 2008, the Paulist fathers were asked by the then bishop, um, Bishop Walter Hurley, to serve here at the Cathedral of St. Andrew. That is the mother church of the Diocese of Grand Rapids. There are two dynamics happening when we sort of serve a cathedral. It's the diocesan aspect of it, as well as the parish aspect of it. With the diocesan liturgies and diocesan functions, for the cathedral to be the hub of intercultural dynamics that's happening here. As an associate pastor, I, I work with all the sacraments and hospital calls, confessions, masses, everything that people need, marriages. Our job is to, you know, essentially to be caretakers of the people here, caretakers of the gifts that they have. We have a wonderful, diverse parish, not only ethnically, but also age. Siempre desde que vine a vivir para acá quise que mis hijos conozcan las tradiciones mexicanas. Is a parish with various inclinations with politics and um, that's the beauty of it. Encouraging people to dialogue, to, to, to talk, to, um, to reach out to people and I, I think that's really important. I work with the Latino community, write letters for them that help them with immigration processes, and we accompany them in all the phases of their life, from baptism through death. This is one of the families of our parish, Moises, and Moises' children, his wife, Veronica, their mother, struggled with cancer for two years. And on almost her last day, she said, take me to the church. Yo, la experiencia que viví fue como Como todos los pasos que se dio en, en la semana de Pascua, sentí yo que eso es lo que estaba viviendo yo. It was a great honor for me to be there with them. Because you know? I love Veronica. When I saw her in the church, she was so strong in her faith. I loved seeing that. And she was so determined that her family would be strong in the faith. We have more than 800 families here at the cathedral. It's a large uh, community with a number of different masses on the weekends and many different folks from many different backgrounds, many different levels of, of income. For me, that is what we ought to be doing as a parish to provide a diversity, calling people back home. The police priests are very relational. It's this relationship-based approach that they bring to the ministry that I'm enjoying. All the sermons that are related to what's going on in the world today, they tie everything back to the different readings on Sundays. I start to think about what is the experience of many of our people that they might be able to connect with. Their sermon are so practical. You could literally hear the sermon and go out the next day and begin applying what you have learned. Listen to what other people have to say, even if they're on the different side of an opinion from you. And then also be willing to share what's in your heart. And we encourage people to do that. We really fell in love with what the Paulist Fathers uh, believe and how their philosophy works, and I think that's really brought us together in our faith. It's algo muy grande, muy grande, muy especial por sus padres. It's not a single viewpoint um, of a priest. You know, it's a team of the the fathers that that bring the the mass alive and and everything in between the masses. ask people about the vision, they'll probably tell you the three C's. is communion with God, belonging in community, and a sense and meaning and purpose in the commission. Those who feel away from the church can find here at the Cathedral of St. Andrew, at the parish, they can find communion with God. So they can find hope 
in oneness with God through the liturgies. I serve a dual role as the Mother Church of the Diocese. I work closely with the Bishop's Office in planning diocesan masses that are held in the cathedral. I also lead all of the liturgical ministries that support both the parish and the diocese. We also have a music ministry, but that helps with the first C, the communion with God. On direct, four different choirs, our traditional choir, a folk ensemble for our evening mass, a contemplative choir, and our choir in Spanish. Playing the piano at church for me is a way to uh, return a gift to God that he has given me and be able to play piano well. Another area that I really appreciate about the Paulus is their concern for community. To find belonging in community is the second aspect of our vision. I'm glad to be on this parish because I play a big role and I love it so much. I play the role of being an interpreter for the community, African community. Most of the community here, they are refugees. They were able to get the asylum here in America. So uh, most of them are from Rwanda, Congo, and Burundi. I have a, a couple of ministries that I spend a lot of time focusing on, and one is the young adult ministry. It's been really difficult working in the hospital during the pandemic, and it's been really nice to have community members that I'm able to talk with. It's just the way that we can just experience the love and the care that the Lord has for us uh, through each other. One of the things that we're doing right now is we're getting involved in some community organizing, which is, I would say, an organizational and ecumenical based group in the city which is trying to mobilize around certain issues that are important to people in our community. Commission, that people can find meaning in the Lord's commission. I am very oriented toward social justice and this community right here in the inner city and the spirit the Paulists bring here um, that really supports the things that are the most important to me. Um, my, my heart is with the poor. I've been involved with the Paulists uh, in one way or another for a very long time. Today, I am the go-to person for helping to process annulments for prisoners of the cathedral. One of the lessons that I've taken from the Paulists and, and the priests that I've known here at the parish is the action of saying yes when you are invited or asked to um, serve in a ministry or serve to help support something happening in the parish. We are to mirror, mirror this God who is calling us to embrace that diversity where, where goodness is found in every person. And I think that's what a mother represents for us. So Mother Church of the Diocese is one that embraces everyone, all, regardless of their background. Because that shows that God loves unconditionally. Mm -hmm.